Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Jenna and today I'm actually going to be sharing with you my biggest thrift haul to date. Yeah, I went to the Value Village 50% off sale and I, I killed it. Like, I'm not even going to lie, I, I killed it. I'm really, really excited to show you what I got. I just went to the Value Village 50% off sale. Uh, they don't happen very often around here in Vancouver. I'm not really sure. I see them actually more in the States than Canada. So I've been waiting for this day for a while now. I I, I went, I went a, little, a little crazy, to be honest. I keep looking at my pile of stuff right here, but I, I ended up getting a lot of things. I unfortunately wasn't able to really film in this because the value villages in Vancouver area get so, so busy. I couldn't even get down the aisles, it was so crowded. And I got there right at opening. There's there's always a lineup when you get there right at opening. So unfortunately, I can't really film on those type of days, on these 50% off days. I also like to just like get into the groove and go thrifting. Like I don't really wanna, or don't really like to film it necessarily just because I'm like trying, trying to find the good stuff, you know? I'm actually gonna do a two-part video on this. Um, one for my first day, the Sunday, the thrift haul. And then the next day is part two, which is gonna be the Monday sale. And I'm gonna try to do um, filming during this one. I ho I'm hoping it's not as busy as the Sunday because the Sunday is just so crazy busy. You can't even move down the aisles. Like, there's like, it's impossible to film on the first day, but I'm super excited to show you the haul that I actually did get at Value Village's 50% off sale. I ended up spending $61 and I got 11 things or 12 things. Yeah, I ended up getting a lot of really, really good stuff. Like, I was just, I, I just couldn't believe how many things I found just because I went to this Value Village earlier in the week and they had not, not, not as much. Like, it really, this Value Village turns over their stock so fast. Like, usually there's lineups of people coming to donate to the store, so I don't know why this location is just so popular for donating. I never see people donate at the other stores like people do, but not lineups, like, onto the road of people trying to donate. I'm out of breath, I'm so excited. Anyways, I'm so excited to show you what I got, so let's get into the haul. should I start? Let's start with some sweaters. Yeah, let's start with sweaters. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna show you is a men's sweater that I found. It was $7.50, so half of that would have been $3.75, yep. And it is a Patagonia sweater. I'm so excited about this. I don't actually have any Patagonia, I guess, outdoor work. I'm not a huge outdoorsy person, so that makes sense. Anyways, this is just a really nice light sweater. I can wear it in the wintertime as it's starting to get cold now in Vancouver. So I'm super excited about this. I love it because it's just kind of like a subtle Patagonia. It's not too much. Very, very nice. And it is a brown, my like favorite, favorite color to wear. So yeah, I definitely think I'm gonna get a lot of wear out of it. And for $3.75 for a Patagonia sweater, like, yeah. Okay, next item. So the next thing I got was this kind of cream taupe sweater. It is a cropped knit sweater. I have seen them a lot on Urban Outfitters website and Urban Outfitter in the store. I just went there not that long ago and they had a ton of these kind of soft knit sweaters. And ever since I've like seen them, I've been like, ooh, I, I really want one. Yeah, I just wanted one. Anyways, so I've seen a lot, but never in the colors I've liked until now and they're also like a lot of time very long and i was like oh i want it cropped but i can't just crop it so honest honestly i'm just super happy with this spine it is cropped oversized super soft sweater to wear for the winter time now and it was 8.99 so it was they do a lot of math today um 450. next item is another sweater because i'm in the winter mode right now and it is just this kind of just crew neck sweater it, nothing too fancy about it but i do really really love this color it's another one of my favorite colors to wear so obviously when i saw that sticking out down the aisle i had to race over and see what it was it is it actually is a women's sweater like prize usually i buy a lot of men's sweaters and stuff but it has this, like this nice pocket and i really want to crop it because it is kind of long so i'm probably going to crop this and just have another crop sweater 
Next one is a jacket and this is from Old Navy, which I don't buy clothes from Old Navy, even thrift clothes from Old Navy. Not very often, but it is a really, really cute jacket. It's almost like the linen kind of jackets that are kind of, and just the look of it. It's just kind of like a nice, like organic feel to it. So I had to try it on. It is an extra large, so it is oversized on me, but I, I don't hate the oversized look. I actually quite enjoy an oversized jacket just because I feel like it's just so much more comfortable when you have like an oversized jacket, you know, when you have a tight jacket, it's kind of restrictive. So I'm definitely all for oversized looks. So I'm not, I'm not mad. It's really big. It was $14.49. So it was like pretty much $15. So it ended up being like $7.25 if you, right? Yeah, $7.25 if you want to be exact. So that's actually not too bad for a coat and it was, it's brand new, like, okay. Next one, okay, this one, I found this right at the end before I was going just because I was kind of like delaying leaving the store just because I was like, what if they bring a new rack out or what if someone put something back? Like I was just, I, just, I was just hanging out there for a while just because I was like, what else am I gonna do today? So anyways, I went down, I think it was in the sweater, like the, the sweater aisle, I'm like not in the blazer aisle, but it is this Sunday Best Blazer, which is one of the brands at Aritzia, and Aritzia is a very, very, very popular brand, at least in Vancouver. I think it's all over Canada, it's super popular. It's just really expensive. So I, like, I love thrifting, so I don't really go to the mall anyways. But it's always nice to find Aritzia clothes at Value Village just because I know how expensive they are, how trendy they are, so I'm just, I'm, I'm excited about this. I never, okay, I should, but I never go to the scarf section at Value Village just because I only wear scarves in the winter. But anyways, I was walking down the aisle. There's a lot of things that were just popping out at me for some reason when I went to Value Village for the sale. And it was just sitting on the end of the aisle. And it is this, or I guess Aritzia Wolfred blanket scarf. I think they're probably around like 50 or $60 for this scarf. So I've been wanting one of these for a while just because they're so nice and just so cozy for the winter. And I, I, I couldn't, I can't spend $60 on a scarf. Like, are you kidding me? No, I barely spend $60 on my like shoes, let alone a scarf. This was, I think this was, this was the cheapest thing I bought. It, it's, I'm, I'm just so speechless today. I got it for $2, $2. Next one is this beautiful long sleeves sweater, or I guess, would you call this a sweater? I don't know. Anyways, at the turtleneck, it has this beautiful, beautiful, this ruffled look at the top of the turtleneck and also on the, the sleeves and also at the bottom, which I love, I love that look. And it is, it is so, so, so soft. I just felt it on the rack and I was like, yeah, I have to get this. Okay, next one is this nice like beautiful kind of cropped but buttoned up shirt like the only thing i didn't realize was it's missing a button either i'm gonna have to get a button that looks similar or i'm gonna have to do a little diy where i just kind of get rid of this top piece which most like i'll just get rid of this top piece so you won't even notice but it was $8.99 so it ended up being $4.50 so I wasn't gonna say no to a $4.50 shirt that was beautiful I don't know where this company is CNC California it's probably like a thing from like Ross or Winners but I, I'm, I'm really excited about that one next one is one that you probably saw I'll link it down below but in my thrifting tips I filmed earlier. I included this little slip dress in the video, which I found early in the week, which still ended up being at the Value Village when I went 50% off sale, which I'm so excited because it was $10 and I was like, mm, $10 for a slip dress, that's a little, a little much. So I was like, I'll just wait. And I was lucky and it was still there. Next item is these yoga pants. I, I love doing yoga and I do a lot of yoga at my place. And I only have like one pair of yoga pants. I have a lot of running tights, but I don't have any yoga tights. So I was super excited to find these. They even have like the little hole at the bottom for your heel. It is like my favorite color. I don't know what was going on at this Value Village that I kept finding my color. I am so excited. I've wanted a pair of tights this color for a really, really long time. So I am so shocked that I found them there. So I guess someone donated a few of these pairs because I saw this brand and are and or and are I'm not sure how you pronounce that but they donated a whole bunch of pairs with like tags on them so this one didn't have a tag but it is brand new it is not worn oh that dog's so cute the dog has pants on what would you wear pants yeah he says he says hell no 
this is pretty rad what I found, but it is this race car, or not race car, but this like antique Maserati bag. I definitely think it's from France because it does have a lot of French writing on the side here. I haven't gotten a purse in a really long time from Valley Village. I was super excited that I was able to find a purse with this big haul. So now I am going to get into my little haul of what I bought earlier in the week. The first thing I got was this Levi crew neck sweater. I am super excited that I found it. It is in really good condition. It is a men's sweater, men's medium, so it is a bit long, so I actually am going to crop it. Not too short. Yeah, I think this will be a really, really cute cropped crew neck. I bought a few crew necks but I want to crop them all just because I'm kind of really into that style right now. It was $15 and I didn't get any coupons or sales with it so I spent $15 for it which I thought was kind of expensive but it was also really nice and it was Levi's so was it expensive? Was it cheap? I don't know, but I, I spent $15 on it. I was on Pinterest kind of getting inspiration when I was searching earlier this week, and I really wanted some more plaid pants. Like, I have a couple pairs, but I don't have any, like, taupe, lighter brown pairs. And I saw some on Pinterest, and I was like, oh, those are so cute. I think they were probably, like, urban outfitters there. It's so funny, because I was actually, like, pinning this, and then I ended up finding a pair exactly that I saw on Pinterest, these nice, like, like Burberry, honestly, style pants or plaid pants and they fit really, really, really well. I am super excited about them because I do not have a pair like this, so. They were $6.99, so I thought that was a pretty good deal for pants there. I don't, I don't know the brand, it just says male. I have no idea what male is. Brand, does it even have size in here? Like nothing, so it's a pretty basic pant. Okay, and then my last piece that I'm gonna show you that I got earlier this week, I don't know where the tag went, so I think it was $5.99, but it is this kind of, it's old granny blouse that I found, like a nice green, but I thought I could layer this without having a full-on jacket, I don't know. Thank you so much for watching today's video. I really hoped you enjoyed my thrift haul today on Value Village's 50% off sale day, day one because I'm gonna be doing a day two video. I am going back tomorrow to the Value Village sale the Monday, so I guess open to the whole public, but really they're both open to the whole public. They just don't advertise it, I guess. Anyways, I'm gonna be going to the day two of the Valley Village 50% off sale, and I really hope I do super well, but I don't really have high hopes to that, so I'm gonna kinda do a comparative of how well I did on the first day and how well I did on the second day. Let's, let's cross our fingers that I do super well. But anyways, I will link the part two of the Valley Village 50% off sale down below, so you can go and watch the video after this one. Yeah, I'm just, I'm just thinking good vibes for tomorrow, because I spent $61 today, so, I'm hoping not to spend that much tomorrow, but if I do, it's probably some really, really good finds anyways. So anyways, if you do like thrifting, thrift with me or thrift hauls, be sure to subscribe to my channel because I do post thrifting videos weekly on this channel, obviously. And if you have Instagram, don't forget to follow me on Instagram at Jenna Phipps to see what I'm doing during the week and just to see more behind the scenes when I'm thrifting because I do not film them all. So you want to see more thrifts with me? Follow me on Instagram. Anyways, I hope you have a great rest of your day, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys.